Jordan says she recently realized she was a victim of Munchausen by proxy and corroborated her suspicions by obtaining her childhood medical records. And you've been talking about these records really validating some of the concerns that you had, validating concerns your doctors had. And you actually met with one of your pediatricians? Yeah, so I actually, there had been multiple doctors that had reported it, but I um, ended up calling one of the ones who had like written a lot of different interesting reports on it all. And I thought I was going in to meet with her to kind of reprimand her and tell her, hey, like I'm alive, but it's not thanks to you. And I thought I was gonna be educating her on Munchausen's by proxy. Um, however, when I met with her, it was a very, very different <laughs> situation that ended up playing out. She was surprised that I was alive. Um, and more than that, that I wasn't sick. And she, she knew she tried, she had done everything that she could have to get me out of the situation. She joins us now, Dr. Leah Wilson. Uh, is joining us via Skype. Dr. Wilson, thank you so much for being with us. First of all, just tell us a little bit about what it was like meeting Jordan as an adult after having taken care of her for so long and having the concerns that you had when she was a child. It, it was really emotional. Um, I didn't know what she was coming for. And then she came in and I was just, very impressed by the sheer guts that she had to come back more than 15 years later and challenge me on the care that she got when she was a little girl. And she told me all that she had been, been through because this was exactly, exactly what I had wanted to stop a long, long time ago. And I even told her, I said, it would have been better for you if someone had beat you up with a baseball bat and broken your bones, because then maybe, maybe I could have helped you then. You actually did file reports trying to get Jordan help, and you suspected Munchausen by proxy. It's even in the medical records. Quotes like, I continue to be concerned regarding the dramatic symptoms that mm -hmm. she presents with by history. I have ongoing concerns regarding this child's status. Past medical history is voluminous and a bit unusual. Again, when you go through her records, you can tell that people are starting to become suspicious. You did file reports to try and help. What happened? Well, it happened the same way that it usually happens when we file this kind of report. Um, we certainly have some excellent child protection people working, but we sometimes come up against these barriers in the legal system. And the same things always come up. It's like, what was the parent's intent? Yeah. Could this just be a, an anxious mother? And I can say, no, this isn't an anxious mother. And then we might go to, well, this caused harm to the child. It says, well, do you want to try to defend this in front of a judge or a jury when you have a wonderful, loving mother who has a sick child that she's trying to help? Are you gonna be able to convince them seeking medical care is child abuse? 